where she gonna be? Call me Vicky T. Off the leash, I feel like a dog. I can't have the free. Keep it free, never leave the juice, but you need it. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so as you can see by the title. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed my wigs. And I'm also going to give you a few details on the Touch by Misty Lace Glue that I finally got my hands on y'all. I'm sorry if I sound kind of stuffy in this video. I don't know what happened but today is December 31st and baby the sickness just came up out of nowhere. Like I can barely breathe. But anywho, to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and brush all my edges back. I use the Even Spray to do so, and then you're going to see me go ahead and put this ball cap on. I got these off of Amazon. I will be putting the link down below, y'all know. You get the details to everything on this channel. But yeah, I'm just going to push this wig cap all the way down past my eyes, and then I'm going to cut holes for my eyes, and I'm going to cut holes for my ears as well. So once I get all the holes cut out, I'm going to go in again with that even spray and just spray that all over the hairline, making sure that it's not going too far ahead of my hairline because you don't want that all over your forehead. But also, you don't want it exactly on your hairline because once you start cutting, you're going to cut off your edges, honey, and we don't want that. Now I'm just going to take my blow dryer on a warm or hot setting. It doesn't really have to be hot. I really do warm, but, you know, just blow drying it and make sure it's completely dry. Now I'm just going to go in and cut off that excess cap. But the trick I've been using is to not cut off the band part of the cap. I can't really explain it, but you can see what I'm doing here on this clip. Um, I'm cutting above that band part. And we're going to keep this and use it to make sure our braids don't move. Because me personally, I do not sew down my braids. So what I do is I use this little band to keep my braids in place. Now I'm going to go in as close as possible to where I glued that cap on and go ahead and cut off the rest of it. And for any places that I went too far down with that glue, I'm just going to push it up with the scissors and then cut the excess off. So this is the wig. I did not pluck it. Um, I probably should have, but it's okay. Like I said, this is a beginner friendly video, baby. So we're just going to use the wig how it came. Okay? Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the Even Lace Tint. And I think it's a medium brown. I like to use a shade that's a little bit darker than me because I just make it feel like it makes my lace blend in a lot better. Like, do y'all see that? Come on now. Get you some even spray. Even lace tan, okay? Hey. 
I usually use the um, foundation, but I don't have any more left, so I just went on ahead and sprayed this on my ball cap as well. Now I'm just going to go in and position the wig to where I want it to be and then once I position it in a spot where I like it, I'm going to go ahead with my scissors and I'm going to cut three sections onto the lace. I just feel like it makes it easier to apply the glue and stick the lace down. So I like to start off with the middle section first and then work my way on down to either side. It doesn't really matter which one. So finally, we're going to go ahead and get into this glue, y'all. So this is the Touch by Misty Lace Glue Extreme. Like I said, I've been wanting this glue for a minute and I finally got my hands on it. And my first impressions, um... It applied like any other glue, you know, nothing too spectacular about that. But this glue dried up really quickly. Like, it didn't take long to get clear and tacky at all. But all I'm doing here is just putting the glue down on the front of that lace cap. And I'm going to spread it out with the comb end of my edge brush. You can use a popsicle stick. Honestly, really anything flat that you can find, baby, you can use it. Even the end of your tweezers, you know, the back side of your tweezers, that'll work as well. Yeah, and this is just me realizing how freaking fast that glue just dried up. Because what? <laughs> I feel like you should only be using two layers of glue, okay? Three are up. Three or more is just way too much. So I use two layers of glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and press that lace in. So once the lace is all pressed in, I'm going to take that comb and I'm going to start pressing it in with the comb. Then I'm just going to repeat those same steps to the other two tabs.
changing Most of these things I don't want to say I want to be a wild one to trace You don't want to hear me work when you make Don't try to come back when you face I always want to do it, but it's that dangerous You got something real, not basic you wanna get when we start Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded Most of these things I don't wanna say I wanna be around while you chase You wanna hear me down when you make You'll try to come back when you fail I always want to do it, but it's that Got something real, not amazing. You want to give me a start. Now, once I have all three tabs down, I'm just going to go in with this little razor here and go ahead and start cutting off all that excess lace. Please, please, please make sure you're taking your time when cutting off this lace, y'all. Please. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me about all your Drag me like two hours to your family's house for wood. Save for me some time, but I should stick around for wood. Always feel like sticking around to say it's been good. And like guns with the ink in it, getting under my skin. A little young thing, but a nigga coughing, got me too excited. Yeah. So when I cut, I do like to make sure I go a little bit above where the hair stops at. So as you can see now, I'm lifting that part up and I'm about to go ahead and glue it down. And to do so, I am using the back of my comb, the pointy part, just because it's so small and like you don't want too much glue on your forehead. That's just going to make a hot mess. So I'm just going to go through and spread that little glue in and press the lace down into it. Most of these things I don't want to say I want to be a wild one to chase You don't want to hear me up when you make Don't try to come back when you face I always want to do it but it's that dangerous You got something real not amazing you want to get when you stop Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded Most of these things I don't want to say I want to be a wild one to chase You want to hit me up when you make You try to come back when you fail I always want to do it, but it's that Got something real, not amazing. You wanna get me to stop? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for wood. 
Now for the ear tabs, all I do is part out where my ear, where I can feel my ear at, and then I'm just going to cut the a little bit off. So right here, you can see me parting, just trying to figure out where my ear is, and I'm going to part, and then once I figure that out, I'm going to go ahead and cut that excess lace off as well. And another thing about this glue, um, I don't know if I've been using the other glues wrong or what, but one, I can never get my ear tabs to stay down, and two, I've never been able to pull in my wig like that. Do y'all see that? Yeah, she wasn't going anywhere. Now I'm just going to go in with that spray again, and I'm just going to spray it all through the lace. Don't put too much, y'all. Like, I know I can overdo it sometimes, but please don't because you're going to have that white cast. And that's one thing we do not want, okay? So I'm just going a little bit at a time on the lace. And I'm smoothing it out with my fingers. And then I'm going to let it dry just for like, I'll say like 10, 10 seconds. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my elastic band I let this elastic band sit on my head for probably about 20 minutes but if you can do longer please do longer because all it's going to do is make that lace melt even better Right here, I'm just going in with my tweezers, kind of trying to perfect that part a little bit. Because like I said, I really didn't do any plucking to this weed. And after that, I'm just going to go in with my wax stick and my hot comb to make sure everything is down flat. And we don't have any humps, lumps, no bumps in this weed, okay? <laughs> To make that part even better, you just want to go in with a little bit of concealer or foundation and apply that to make that part look even more defined. And yeah, y'all, this is the final result. I didn't do any baby hairs. Let me know if y'all want a video on that. Um, this glue overall, I give it like a seven out of ten. Um, I wouldn't say it was water nor sweat proof, but like I said, I've had it in since now. I still got this wig on actually, but it's lifting. So, um, I give it a 7 out of 10. Um, if y'all want a more detailed video on this glue, let me know. Another wig review, let me know. Let me know what y'all want to see next, okay? But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! I put a shape in you when it came in. We can wait I was in rushing difference in ages. You're old enough, but you're still a baby. You share stories with you did amazing. Thanks to be lonely. Thanks to be patient. That was before me. I must have changed it. Shifted your focus.